Addressing the media after leading a committee to inspect the aircraft at the Takrade Air Force Base on Friday, January 20, Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources in charge of mines, George Mwekuduka, disclosed that the repair works expected to take six months will be funded by the Ghana Chamber of Mines. And we believe in our regularization effort, it could help in getting things done, especially um, uh, getting the uh, Galam Semen is controlled and that is why government is making efforts to collaborate with private partners. We are anticipating that they will take up the costs and uh, use it to monitor the activities on the field and also help in uh, checking the Galamse Kanka. Uh, they estimate that we have received it uh, about uh, 700,000 euros and if that is pushed in uh, it could uh, refurbish all this aircraft. He also explained why government opted to repair the old aircraft instead of buying new ones. Uh, technically, these uh, aircraft are not going to be sent to Austria or China. They are, the uh, technicians are going to be brought in and they are going to service. And uh, as we are rightly briefed, these are people who are well trained, people who could just fix uh, some kind of uh, a new software to re-cushion and revamp all these aircraft. They are specially made and we believe it's cost effective as far as even comparing to procuring uh, drones and other uh, other equipment. The repairs will see the replacement of crashes, hard drives, outdated softwares and engines among others. The minister commended the Chamber of Mines for its support towards the Kalamsi fight.